In this video, I'm going to show you the process next signature feature in Exclaimer Cloud and why you might use it and what you'd use it for. So in this case, I have a few different signatures. I have my product team signature. I have the sales team signature. What I could do is both of these need a legal disclaimer. I could put it in that signature template. I'd put it maybe down at the very bottom, right? Same thing with this sales one. But I don't want to keep it up to date in two places. I'd much rather just have this disclaimer added separately. And I can just change it here and I know it applies to everyone, right? Well, if I run this test, just to see what signature is currently being added on my emails, uh, let's see what would go on the email if it's to someone external. And we'll just put test in the message body. Now you'll notice it does indeed add the email signature, but we wanted that disclaimer. What happened? Well, basically, the first signature that matches, it's going to add that signature and then it stops processing at that point. It ignores any signatures that come after it. That one's a match. It's just going to skip anything else, but we can change that. And here under signature rules, that's what this is for. Process the next signature. And if I click OK, you could, if you wanted to, also have that switched on on this one, etc. So that this is the way it's going to end up working out. Let's go back to that rules tester and let's just run it again. I'm not changing any settings here. I'll click test and you'll see that it actually adds both my email signature with all the nice branding and stuff on there and additionally that legal disclaimer. So if we click on details, we can see why. Yes, the sender's Brad Shepard. We mentioned that in who it applies to. And yes, the recipient's external. Karen isn't at Green Org. And then once that signature is applied, it continues processing. It keeps going through any additional signatures. Then it went and it looked at that sales team signature. And well, I'm not in the sales team. My department name doesn't contain sales. So it didn't add that one. That's what that little X means. Then it's going to keep going and it finds this disclaimer there. And this disclaimer does indeed apply because it's for anyone in my organization. And I'm obviously someone in my organization. And the recipient's external. Karen isn't in our company. So it also applies that one. That's the whole point of this process next signature feature. And there are more signatures that get applied. This internal one doesn't go on there because the recipient has to be internal and Karen's external, of course. So in the end, the whole idea with this is if I want to add multiple bits of content to an email, I can use this process next signature option. I could turn it off, I could turn it on, and I could switch it on separately for each signature. Because in this case, I might have a bunch of signatures after these that, uh, that would end up getting applied, would end up get, getting stuck under there. So I could just say, you know what, in here, if that disclaimer is applied, you can stop there. But if nothing's been applied so far, sure, carry on and go into internal, look at maybe those signatures for another branch of the company, whatever. All right, that is how to process more than one signature on a single message. Thanks for watching.